No! What is going on everyone? Today we are going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 4, which is titled The Spoils of War. So last episode was absolutely insane, especially towards the end. Things were a little confusing for me personally, but <laughs> once I figured out what was going on, I was like, okay. So this Unsullied went to Castle Rock to take it over. They succeeded right up until they realized that not all the Lannister soldiers are there. And in fact, Euron and his fleet has now attacked their fleet and destroyed most of their ships, or maybe even all their ships. And meanwhile, the Lannister soldiers were all the way over at Highgarden, and they were essentially taking over Highgarden, going to kill, uh, well then they eventually did go kill Lady Olena, which was a very amazing scene between Olena and Jaime. And of course, led to her getting poisoned, but a brilliant scene, the way she like told Jamie that she was involved in the death of Joffrey. I hope Jamie actually does tell Jamie or tell Cersei, because I feel like that would be a very interesting revelation <laughs> for her to be like, you, she seriously did it out of everyone else. She, you know, she was dead set on it being Sansa and Tyrion and then it ended up being Elena would be kind of crazy. It's not going to change her opinion on Tyrion. She's still going to blame Tyrion for whatever because it's just who she is. But it's going to be an interesting thing to see regardless. So yeah, let's just... I, I need to see what happens after all that because that was just an insane ending to that episode. And the episode overall was pretty solid with, you know, John going to Dragonstone. Just a lot of great stuff. So let's watch this. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon link. That'll be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Like I said, I don't want to know how many episodes are in these seasons, so I, also, I honestly don't know when we're going to be at the finale until we get there, which I, I don't know. I thought that'd be interesting. My prediction is I'm going to guess like eight or nine episodes. I, I doubt it's going to be any less than that, but we'll see. Matt Shackman. Oh, he definitely was a director. I feel like he was a director on a Marvel project. It might have been WandaVision. I think so. I might be wrong, though. Damn, that's a lot of gold. So they take that from Highgarden? All for themselves? You've just won the biggest prize in the world. What could you possibly have to be upset about? Queen of Thorns, give you one last prick in the balls before saying goodbye? Kind of, yeah. There is still the question of my prize. That's a lot of money I just gave you. It's not a castle. Oh yeah, he wanted a castle. This all belongs to the Iron Bank. See? We pay our debts. Right. So that's how they're gonna pay their debt off? I always considered your father a very effective and efficient man, but you appear to be redefining those terms entirely. Yeah, they're surprising me. Like, three episodes ago, I thought they were completely outnumbered, and then now they're just destroying everything. I need to expand my armies, my navies. My hand, Kyburn, has made overtures to the Golden Company in Essos. Kyburn's officially her hand? Have we heard that before? I don't know. Rest assured, your grace, you can count on the Iron Bank's support. Uh, as soon as the gold arrives. Yeah, gotta wait for that first. I don't blame him, to be honest. For you. The last man who wielded it meant to cut your throat. Oh, that's the one that... Yeah, the season one. And he has it now. And he said... Remember he said that Tyrion got it or something? I wasn't there for her when she needed me most. But I am here for her now. To do what she would have done. To protect our children. Anything I can do for you, Brandon. The crazy thing is, Bran can see exact. He knows exactly what he did. No. <laughs> that very question was what started the War of the Five Kings. <laughs> and he knows all his secrets. I imagine you've seen things most men wouldn't believe. To go through all of that and make your way home again, only to find such chaos in the world. I can only imagine. Chaos is a ladder. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> That's so cool how he knows everything. Like, no one can hide shit from him. You just can't. You're leaving. To where? I don't want to leave you. When they come, I need to be with my family. Oh, oh that makes sense, yeah. Go <laughs> with your family. <laughs> that, that makes sense. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. You don't have to say it so harshly. He's lost all emotion since becoming the Three-Eyed Raven. Thank you. The dude is just emotionless. My brother died for you. Hodor and Summer died for you. I almost died for you. Bran. I'm not really. Yeah, he's a completely different person. That's very clear. 
That makes sense. If you literally could see everything in the entire world, it makes sense you wouldn't be yourself anymore. You would, you would literally be everything. You died in that cave. That, yeah. Oh shit! Oh yes. Okay, I'm, I'm very happy it's happening soon. Yo, I mean, I'm more excited for her and John and their reunion, but this is still pretty hype. Hey, oh, where are you going? I live here. Fuck off. I'm Arya Stark. This is my home. <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna believe it. Arya Stark's dead. Send for Mr. Lewin or Sir Roderick. They'll tell you who I am. There's no Roderick here. Is that Eddie Munson from fucking Stranger Things on the right? Look, it's cold and weird. But yeah, I think it is. Best fuck off. If John's gone, who's in charge of Winterfell? The Lady of Winterfell? <laughs> lady Stark? Which Lady Stark? <laughs> Send her down. Come on, where's Sansa at? Tell Sansa her sister's home. Lady Sansa is too busy to waste a breath on you, just like us. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting into this castle one way or another. If I'm not who I say I am, I won't last long. But if I am... And Sansa finds out you turn me away. She'll have your heads on pikes in three seconds. You sit there. Go tell Lady Stark I'll watch her. I am telling Lady Stark. <laughs> and the music's kicking in. This is like the nostalgia season. <laughs> Just so much, like, you know, so much coming back. I'm not, because if you don't. Just go fucking tell her, please. <laughs> This shit's driving me nuts. Oh. <laughs> she was not going to be putting up with that shit. We were standing right next to her, and, and, and when we turned around, she'd gone, my lady. Yeah, where did she go? He comes in asking for uh, Sir Roderick Trick, yeah. and Mr. Lewin. Lewin yeah. And well, yeah, they're dead now. We'll, we'll, we'll find her. You don't have to. I know where she is. Oh, she went down to the crypts? Oh, this is so weird, man. This is so weird. Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? <laughs> yes. That's so weird. It's so weird seeing them together. You shouldn't have run from the guards. I didn't run. You need better guards. <laughs> what suits you, Lady Stark? John left you in charge. I hope he comes back soon. I remember how happy he was to see me when he sees you. His heart will probably stop. <laughs> they say you killed Joffrey. Did you? I wish I had. <laughs> me too. This is exactly how I expected their reunion to be, too. However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. 100% <laughs> exactly how I expected it. I was not expecting to have like a crying and sobbing reunion. I was fully expecting to be so relaxed like this. <laughs> Aw. That's a nice scene. That's sweet. Brand's home too. <laughs> All but Rick on. Yeah, that broke her heart here. There to hear that. It's just Bran. It's not even Bran though. Let's be real here. He's gone. This man's done. He, he, he ain't there no more. You came home. I saw you at the crossroads. You saw me? I see quite a lot now. You should probably explain that a little bit better than that. I thought you might go to King's Landing. So did I. Cersei's on her list of names. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? How do you know all this? <laughs> Who else is on your list? Most of them are dead already. <laughs> Where did you get this? Littlefinger gave it to me. He's here. He is declared for House Stark. Why would he give you a dagger? Oh shit. Because it was meant to kill me. Oh shit. The cutthroat. Why would a cutthroat have a Valyrian steel dagger? Oh shit. He's not a generous man. He wouldn't give you anything unless he thought he was getting something back. It doesn't matter. I don't want it. <laughs> Are you sure? It's Valyrian steel. It's wasted on a cripple. Anyone who gets any sort of Valyrian steel weapon, I'm always like, they're definitely killing a White Walker one day. Definitely. <laughs> Honestly, like, they should probably do something about Littlefinger. He's gonna, he's gonna do something. He's gonna wait till his chance, and he's gonna try to do something. And so, I don't know. 
Catelyn Stark would be proud. Yeah, Brienne's got to feel really good that they're here safe. Next to nothing. That ain't true. I'm honestly, I'm liking this season so far. It feels so different than some other seasons, but I'm liking it a lot. I wanted you to see it before we start hacking it to bits. Oh, they haven't even done it yet. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, we'll ever need. That is awesome. There is something else I want to show you, you Grace. What are these symbols? The children of the forest made these. Oh. A very long time ago. They were right here. Standing where we're standing. Makes sense that they were here for the white uh, for the dragon glass. Doing what? Fighting each other. They fought together against their common enemy. Yep. Together. Is that we need to do the same if we're gonna survive? I was gonna say that's gonna kind of work for them as well. They have to work together, put aside their differences. Why are you getting so close? I will fight for you. I will nice. fight for the north. Nice. When you bend the knee. Oh come on with that shit! I don't think he's gonna do it. My people won't accept a southern ruler. Yeah, you gotta be realistic here, Daenerys. You have to be realistic. They will if their king does. I don't, I don't know. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Why can't you just let... I, I understand Daenerys, she wants to rule the Seven Kingdoms, whatever, but... Why can't you just rule six of them, you know? like <laughs> Let Jon do his thing in the north. Who the fuck cares, man? That's just... That's not who she is, though, obviously. That's just the way I would see it, though, you know? We took Costly Rock. That's very good to hear. Isn't it? Nope. I feel like she's gonna... She's, she's gonna... She's gonna hop on those dragons and head out. All my allies are gone. They've been taken from me while I've been sitting here on this island. You still have the largest army. Who won't be able to eat because Cersei has taken all the food from the Reach? Commit to the blockade of King's Landing. We have a plan. It's still the right plan. The right plan! Your strategy has lost us Dawn, the Iron Islands, and the Reach. If I have underestimated our enemies... Our enemies? Your family, you mean. <laughs> Perhaps you don't want to hurt them after all. Damn, Daenerys? She's hopping right on those dragons, and she's... I, for a I, I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if she goes and kills everyone with those dragons right now. <laughs> I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. No! You'll kill innocent people! What kind of a queen am I if I'm not willing to risk my life to fight them? A smart one. What do you think I should do? I would never presume I'm at war. <laughs> John's like, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I never thought that dragons would exist again. No one did. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Maybe that helps them believe that you can make other impossible things happen. Build a world that's different from the shit one they've always known. But if you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. Exactly. Exactly. Why are we always knocking Podrick over? <laughs> Damn. Don't go where your enemy leads you. Oh, is Arya gonna try to take on Brienne? And don't, don't fight someone like her in the first place. <laughs> nice sword. And she got Very the knife. Nice That's cool. Oh, she's learning how to flip with it too. It's been a while since I trained. I can go and find the Master of Arms for you, my lady. He didn't beat the Hound. <laughs> you did. I want to train with you. Oh, dude. The Hound is heading north, so if he comes here, that'd be cool to see them interact. Move aside, Podrick. <laughs> Podrick's like, I wanted to break anyways. <laughs> you can't use that, my lady. It's too small. I won't cut you. Don't worry. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, she's good with it. No, she's... She's a damn fighter. Damn! <laughs> we don't need the kicking. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> she did that move before, but that, I mean, that was cool. Sansa's impressed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who taught you how to do that? No one. <laughs> that's, uh, 
<laughs> of course, no one, because that's what they call themselves there. You, you, yeah. It's a funny pun. And I don't like how he looks at everyone. I feel like there's just... I, I feel like he's going to do something one of these days, and I'm worried for it. What do you think of her? I think she has a good heart. A good heart? I've noticed you're staring at a good heart. <laughs> there's no time for that. Yeah, what? It's the Davos. Lord Snow. King Snow, isn't it? No, that doesn't sound right. King John? King Snow. <laughs> Forgive me, but may I ask a question? Your name is John Snow, but your father's name was Ned Stark. No, I'm a bastard. My mother and father weren't married. Is that not like a thing in Essos? Well... We don't have marriage. Oh, well, there you go, yeah. The concept, the concept doesn't exist, doesn't yeah. Exist. That sounds... liberating. Why did you leave your homeland? I was stolen away by slavers. How did a slave girl come to advise Daenerys Targaryen? She bought me for my master and set me free. Of course, you're serving her now, aren't you? Yeah, but her own free will, though. And if you wanted to sail home to Narth tomorrow, <clears throat> then she would give me a ship. And yeah, exactly. A fortune. You believe that? I know it. You'd hope so. She's not our queen because she's the daughter of some king we never knew. She's the queen we chose. Will you forgive me if I switch sides? <laughs> Damn. Not if she goes burning down kingdoms, then I don't know, that's not... Is that gonna be... Oh, Theon, yeah. There's not many of them, so that's not... They're not, not like it's gonna make much of a difference in their, you know, fighting. Oh, John and Theon, I just realized that. I just realized it's John and Theon. Oh, shit. John gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> I feel like Theon probably deserves a one punch at least. John? I don't know what's about to happen. No way they're gonna hug. You see, all right. <laughs> yeah, why did I, what you did for why me. did I expect they were gonna hug? <laughs> Is the only reason I'm not killing you. Yeah, there you go. Your sister, Euron has her. I came to ask the Queen to help me get her back. The Queen is gone. Where did she go? I don't know. I don't know where she went. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So, Jamie. Brick on. Dick on. <laughs> Dick on. <laughs> well, of course, that made him laugh. Your first battle? And? It was glorious. Come on. Your father's not here. All my life, we've been pledged to house Tyrell. I knew some of those men. Mm. Yeah, that's got to be messed up. I didn't expect it to smell like that. Men shit themselves when they die. Didn't they teach you that at fancy lad school? Well, I learned it when I was five. I guess that makes sense. What? Listen. Oh, God. Is that going to be what I think it's going to be? Is it going to be the Dothraki? There's no way it's going to be the Dothraki. It's got to be the Dothraki. It's got to be Dothraki. Oh, it is. I hear it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit! Dude, what is this season has so much going on? Oh, you can see the soul. <laughs> you can see the shadows. There's so many! That sounds like a losing battle for the Lannisters. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Get back to King's Landing. I'm not abandoning my army. You're the commander, not a damn infantry man. We can hold them off. Oh, you should run a dragon? Oh shit! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, they're fucked. Yo, Jamie's gonna fucking die. Like, what the hell? They're all gonna die. Jamie's shitting bricks right now. I don't want you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they're running through the fire. What the hell? Jamie, you gotta get out of there, man. <laughs> I was not expecting a battle this episode. Wow. 
They've had battles pretty much the last three episodes. <laughs> That's insane, the way they're on the horses. Fucking standing on a horse. Holy shit. We're questioning where Daenerys was, and then they cut to the <laughs> And then they cut to this. I was like, you know, maybe she's gonna do something here. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Jamie's fucking the No the Just call today. Call today. There's only one of them, too. Where are the other two dragons? Ain't no way they're gonna all hit it. Well, they're not trying to hit the dragon. They're trying to hit her. Right? Or I guess any of them. That didn't do shit! Oh my god, she's fucking up everyone! Captain Scorpion is over there! Go get it, then. I can't shoot with one hand. Yeah. Is he gonna... Jamie, damn, dude! Oh. Nice. Nice, Dickon. Dickon's gonna get killed, though. <laughs> Ain't no way that guy's surviving. Dude, I feel like Braun or Jamie are gonna get killed. I really do. This is pretty huge. I feel like... Oh! Not his gold! Oh, Bronze gonna die! No! He's gonna die! <laughs> Holy shit! This season must have been really expensive, because this is some- this looks like some expensive shit. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's the thing for the dragon! No, they're gonna shoot the dragon! Ron, come on, man. I don't want you to kill my, my- I don't want you to kill a dragon. Come on, come on. I can't root for you if you do this, man. I can't- I want to root for you. But if you shoot the dragon, I can't root for you. Tyrion's here? How the fuck did he get here? Oh, I guess he was always- Oh, I guess he went with them in the first place. Okay. I didn't realize he went with them. I don't think Tyrion's happy to see this. It's just destruction. He's probably worried for Jamie too. Because Jamie's there. Oh, the Lannister theme playing right now? That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, this episode is so good looking. I swear, this is probably one of the best. In terms of visuals, this is definitely one of the best episodes. No, not Jamie. Not Jamie. Take cover. No! I don't know what's like, I just, I don't want, I don't want these people to die, but like. Oh. <laughs> this is fucking nuts, man. This is fucking nuts. If it hits it, what the hell is Daenerys gonna do? No! Oh, she's about to fuck everyone up. Is he okay? How the hell is he surviving this? <laughs> this guy, like, how is Bron living right now? <laughs> I... <laughs> this is fucking insane! She gonna pull it out herself? Oh no. Flee, you idiot. Yeah, come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh my god, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie! What are you doing? You idiot. You fucking idiot. <gasps> no! What the fuck just fucking happened?
<laughs> You're not in like that. Why, why, why do you gotta end like that? Why do you gotta end like that? That's just messed up. Like, why would you end like that? Oh, I love that episode. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sucker for some good battles, obviously. If, you, if you've, if you know, watched any of my other reactions, you know I've enjoyed quite a few of the battles in this show. They're really entertaining. Um, but let's talk about everything. So first of all, Arya going Winterfell, something I've been waiting for for a while. Obviously, that was great. And I, I like the reunion. I think it was all well done. Obviously, I want, to, I want to see her reunite with Jon more than anyone, but even with just Sansa and Bran, it was nice, nice scenes. And it was kind of how I expected it to go. Uh, there's a lot of nice scenes in Winterfell this episode, actually, to be completely honest. And then he had some scenes in Dragonstone, just typical stuff. Um, you know, the a lot of debating over, over what to do about this whole situation. And then we get, in my opinion, one of the coolest battles in the show. I don't know if that's a popular or unpopular opinion, but I thought that was really cool. Um, especially just how it looked. Obviously, a dragon being involved in a battle that much is pretty exciting and i was really worried there i mean i'm shocked jamie didn't die i was fully expecting jamie to get killed there but it looked like Braun saved him which i'm that's just a really crazy chance i don't know but i'm glad that happened because i don't i don't I mean i don't know we're like cutting towards the end of the show so i mean I think certain characters, like, I'm okay with seeing them die just because we, we're getting towards the end anyways. Um, but I still wanted... I feel like it would have been fitting. I do think it would have been fitting. Especially with what Tyrion was saying to, like, just flee, you idiot. I don't know. But it looks like he's okay. At least I think so. He was, you know, going underwater, but... I, like... I hate when episodes end like this because it's like the, there, there has to be hopefully we get to see exactly what happened right after that the next episode I don't want them to skip it or something because I, I need to know what, what the fuck happened there because like the dragon's still right there they could probably just wait till he swims ashore uh, you know what I mean and then kill him so I don't know but it's so crazy because it's like characters on both sides that I like you know I like Jamie, I like Braun, I like Daenerys I like Tyrion and you gotta just choose who to root for you can't really root for anyone you just you're just watching it play out, and it was uh, quite the intense battle all around. Uh, a couple things I want to touch on as well. So Littlefinger, right? He gave that dagger to Bran, which was very interesting of him to do, given everything that happened. But because Bran is able to see, you know, everything, he obviously knows what Littlefinger did, what he's done in the past, and basically the fact that he is the one who started this entire war, pretty much, I would say so. And I wonder if Bran is going to tell someone, because that's the thing about him being the, the three-eyed raven. Does he have this responsibility where he's not supposed to tell people, he's not supposed to abuse that power and go around telling people secrets and stuff? Like, I think, because I was wondering, like, why didn't he say something to Sansa and Arya? I'm going to assume it's because of that. He's just not allowed to based on his principles of being the three-eyed raven i don't fucking know that that makes sense to me he probably wouldn't be able to just go around telling secrets like that so maybe someone has to find out on their own i don't know but he definitely could he could expose little finger and i feel like if he did i honestly wouldn't be surprised if john sansa all of them had him killed or at least at least thrown out of the winterfell something i don't know because i mean He's a dangerous man. Like, that's the craziest thing about his character is I've always thought he wasn't dangerous. Like, it didn't take until, like, season three, episode six for me to fully catch on that this is a dangerous man. Before that, it's always, like, to me, it's like, oh, everyone's just, they're just, they're just, you know, <laughs> paranoid or whatever. It's like, Littlefinger, he, he, he seems a little sneak, sneaky, but I don't think he's a bad person. You know, it, it took until a certain point in the series where I was like, okay, actually, yeah, he's, he's not, he's not good. He, he, he's done some fucked up stuff. And he will keep doing more. And then season four comes and you just learn about everything that happened with him. He's definitely one of the most interesting characters in this show, for sure. And I do expect the truth to come out eventually to everyone. But I guess we'll have to wait and see on that. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. I don't really think there's much else to touch on beyond that. I'm trying to think of other moments that were interesting. I guess the dragon glass in the i thought that looked really cool and i also thought learning of the backstory or more information about the backstory we heard some of that in 
you know, pr prior episodes, we also heard some of that even just being talked about in the history and lore videos, which, by the way, I have been watching those. I haven't caught up 100%, but I've, I've watched most of them, um, at least up to where I'm supposed to be watching them. I just didn't do them for reaction videos because uh, a number of reasons. I did a poll. Most people seem to not be that interested in watching them. Plus, I just the time commitment there is just a bit much for me. And I also honestly like watching them. I kind of prefer watching them on my own. It's kind of like a nice thing to do. I don't, I don't know if it would be the best for reaction content. I'm sure channels... I, I'm sure channels have done it. I'm sure people love it. But for me personally, I just don't think it works best on my channel. I don't think it fits on my channel as much as just doing the reactions but i'm definitely open to reacting to other certain game of thrones centric things just usually as part of the videos like i've done in the past but yeah regardless um i'm assuming that's not the finale i, I yeah it's not okay because there's a next episode here i guess it's the only way i'm gonna know if it's the finale or not by looking down here and seeing that it's not you know because it tells me the next episode is season seven episode five so i don't have to worry about that okay I will see you on my next one. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon link. That will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.